what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we gotta check out how adam would book the dethroning of roman reigns man uh shout out to bailey r01 who sent this to me today on twitter i had to check this out definitely was not expecting this video um but i'm looking forward to seeing how he will book it because i think the topic of discussion when it comes to roman reigns title reign for a lot of people this year how will he drop the title how will he lose the universal championship and the um the wwe championship i think it's about that time this is the year he drops them i don't think wwe can even extend booking any more opponents for roman to face all the way to next year at wrestlemania next year's wrestlemania because he's pretty much beaten majority if not majority of the top stars he has so i am very interested very excited for how he's gonna do this it's gonna be a great one appreciate all love and support man i know adam's gonna kill it he kills the booking like his fantasy booking this should be a good one this is this is a a massive video right here So gather round townsfolk from peddler to thief Let me tell you the tale of the great tribal chief He had hair wet as dogs, he had teeth really? wide as dogs He had friends who were dogs, he's a really <laughs> big dog He will fight, he will win, he will bite, he will sing He's more vile than before from the Isles of Samoa. <laughs> Much wretched was Boy, Roman when right virtue <laughs> his game, but he went bad at SummerSlam and joined with Paul Heyman. And he ruled over SmackDown, potential let loose, and he layeth to SmackDown on Noble J. Oos. He will <laughs> fight, he will win, he will fight, he will sing. He's more vile than before from the Isles of Samoa. He's a dog diggy diggy big dog with shiny white teeth. He's a big dog, big diggy <laughs> dog. He's a great tribal chief. The story, those listening to me, they're under the glory, a great irony, like Rocky before him, who failed as a face, brings hat to go evil to rule in Rock's place, he will fight, he will win, he will fight, he will sing his mobile. That is a, a very great comparison. Rocky didn't work. The Rock didn't work as a face. He had to go heel for him to work. And then when he went face, granted, it didn't take them long to figure it wasn't working. Vince was just super stubborn with Roman. From the Isles of Samoa, he's a big dog, he's a big dog, big dog, big dog, dog, he's a big dog, big dog, big dog, big dog, big dog, big and when Rock finally comes back, the dog's gone too far. He'll acknowledge the chief at WrestleMania. And when Reigns finally turns back into a face, I can see that. He'll be the most over, except maybe Mace or T. Slapjack. <laughs> Fun fact: I wrote that uh, before Slapjack got released. Oh wow! Mason T Bar is still around, though. Good, good job. I'm Adam from Parts of Unknown, and this <laughs> is how I, I would I would book Who Beats Roman. <laughs> oh boy! So yeah, Roman Reigns has, of the day that I recorded this, held the Big W Championship for 44 days and the University Championship for, <laughs> check notes, longer than that. How <laughs> much longer? 626 doggy days. God That's damn. how longer. He pinned Braun ridiculous. Strowman in a triple threat at Payback 2020, back when the only wrestling fans in the world lived inside the digital grid prison where murderers in the tech industry go when they die. I don't miss pandemic wrestling. I surely don't look at them mm -hmm. facetime pricks now the <laughs> bloodline perches unmovable and eternal atop wwe with all the belts mm -hmm. i think they, the tag unification match hasn't happened yet like cerberus basically a three-headed big dog big whoopee dog holding a bunch of novelty leather key rings and their three giant mouths and also cerberus's lawyer is present i guess now to be clear 
I like the bloodline domination thing. I like mm -hmm. unbeatable heel champions because I think it raises the prestige of the titles they hoard. And having one top championship in the company, that's a good thing. IMO. I'm not entirely sure if they're two top championships. Are they unified? Will he defend yeah. them separately? No fucking idea. WWE have not been clear on that. And if yeah, they haven't not. been clear, <laughs> then I haven't been cared. But an unbeatable champion only works if someone, you know, beats them. It's not yep. much of a movie if the monster wins in the end. There's a reason that they reshot the sad ending of Dodgeball. Remember when Dodgeball and Anchorman mm -hmm. came out at roughly the same time? What time for comedy? Dodgeball, by the way, is a better film. Just gonna leave that hot take <laughs> right there. That's why it was good. Sure, though. that'll be fine. <laughs> with Roman maybe looking to crack Hollywood in the near future, maybe, and also with the proposed Rock versus Roman Reigns match at WrestleMania 39, absolutely not needing the world title attached to it. And, and I've said that before. I said that earlier, I want to say earlier this week when I talked about uh, The Rock potentially uh, coming back to uh, being able to wrestle at WrestleMania 39. I said it. It does not need the title. This match is a main event match that does not need any championship to work. This works off the strength of a first time ever, and it's a family. Who's really the tribal chief? Who's really the top dog? It sells itself. You put this match on the card, you announce this match, people are going to go see this. People that haven't even watched wrestling in a while. The Rock is wrestling his his one of his family members, his cousins. Like, oh shit, we gotta see this. The Rock wrestling puts people back into wrestling. It it it, it, it just announcing that he's wrestling will get tickets. So anything it makes the match kind of more predictable and therefore worse just yeah. have it be about who gets to be the leader of their family it's much better that way with those things in mind then we have to start talking about who gets to be the guy to beat roman reigns feels a little bit like slim pickings that's yep. why i'm here it Let is slim me pickings. Have a go. It, he's already beaten everybody damn near so i'm, I'm so interested. the question is who 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 who, short of bringing in someone new and lesnaring them to the title, who are our viable top contenders? Well, let's have a look at the list, shall we? Number one, Brock Lesnar. Absolutely f***ing not. No. I think I'd rather enter into a tender relationship with a wasp's nest than sit through another Broman program. No. We already did it. It took seven feuds, but we did it. No it's more. It's done. No more. Get in the no pile and you f***. Stay there. Drew wow. McIntyre crowning him in the UK, where he'll probably be super over, is the closest to a monumental occasion mm -hmm. that fits to end a monumental title reign. But then again, I don't know. Like, I don't know. He can have a great match with pretty much anyone. He's charismatic. I like his furry chest, but he was <laughs> WWE champ for ages, and I don't think carrying a murder weapon around has massively improved his happy go lucky baby face shtick. Still, he is going in the maybe pile. Yeah, Randy maybe. Orton? Orton's always a contender, always will be for the rest of his career, most likely. Plus, if WWE treat the titles as separate belts, then if he won them, that would technically bump him up to 16 world titles, tying in with Cena and Flair. Then the future of the titles ever vacated, you can run Orton versus Cena, double retirement match, see who breaks Flair's record. F*** it, throw Flair in there as well. Mm -hmm. He's gonna wrestle again. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm saying. I'm drunk. We're going to put Randy Orton <laughs> in the no pile. Just, you've had enough, Randy. Yeah. KO? K? No. No. No, let's just, not quite. What are they, he's going to hit him with a golf cart again. again. Yeah. AJ Styles. <laughs> Fantastic. Gonna sound like though. AJ's mum, but can he please win a pay per view match at some mm -hmm. point? He hasn't won one in almost a full f***ing year. Literally, money in the bank. 2021. Wow. Like, please. But also, he held the WWE title for a year previously. Doesn't really need it. A big hypocritical no. Finn Balor, the big push. Honestly, tripping and falling on his knob at Extreme Rules kind of killed the demon gimmick, so sorry, bud. No. Yeah. Edge. Strong, maybe. Strong, maybe. Judgment yes, Day yes. is an evolution quality gimmick, if done right. Edge is a different guy now than he was mm -hmm. when he last feuded with Reigns. Judgment Day versus Bloodline. Those matches would be mm. great. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Heel, but he's a maybe. Bron Breaker. Ah, the hipster's choice. No, uh, Bron Breaker is good. He's got proper Lesnar levels of potential. I don't think he can win the title in the time frame that we're looking at, though. Maybe in future years, almost definitely in future years. But for now, 
No. Bobby Lashley? No. Mm -mm. He's had a go. Nakamura? Ah. No. Sorry, mate. Seth no. Rollins should always be a maybe from a wrestling yeah. perspective. He's probably the best big match machine in the big dub, but still it is a trodden path and Seth doesn't need a title to be over. And mm -mm. of course, the last time he held the Universal Championship, it didn't go too well. The cell match happened. Did not go too well. Also, <laughs> Roman has already conquered his Seth Rollins yeah. demons. So let's no. say no on Seth. Walter, I'm, I'm, I don't care if it's played out. I'm not calling him Gunther. He doesn't run a coffee shop. This is uh, my personal favorite. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. Has the best kind of matches that WWE have produced in the last five years. I mm -hmm. think he's the most legitimate choice. Would very much like it if they called up Eichner and ran face Imperium versus heel bloodline. Like, holy sh**. He did hold the NXT title for years, which might be a bit much for fans, but hell, if WWE can forget about it, we can too. He goes <laughs> in the maybe, please. Maybe. Cody Rhodes. The probable heavy favorite. WWE yeah. would love to crown Cody with a world title, something that AEW never did. Get him to repeatedly say on the record, this is the biggest, most important match of mm -hmm. my career. While Dustin Rhodes just sits sadly while Simon and Garfunkel plays. So those are our maybes. Drew, Edge, Walter, Cody. Two yep. from SmackDown, two from Raw. All of those, I think, are viable top contenders. Yes, Look, this is an entertainment show at the end of the day. And I want to do something that's entertaining and challenging. See, I've booked Cody before. You can watch that video there, there, there. Drew doesn't quite excite me beyond UK man wins thing at UK show. Mm -hmm. Edge is good, but I think heel heel rules it out. And that leaves Walter. And look, if you held a gun to my head and wanted a name right now without any explanation or storyline, I'm just going to go Walter. I think he's the best special attraction in wrestling. He's a like you can legitimately imagine him just slapping Roman Reigns' head off and pinning him. But this is a story and I'd like to push myself a little. I'd like to present to you a name that you might initially say, absolutely not, you're f***ing mad and see if I can change your uh -oh, mind. What are you about I to would say? like to tell you the story of how I would book Roman Reigns to eventually be dethroned by Xavier Woods. <laughs> I had to laugh. Ah! Oh, I had to. That one, that was a healthy laugh. Really? The same guy that got mad over a fake crown. I want to see how he does this. Xavier does need a, a W, but I, I really want to see how he does this. You heard me. Between now and the end of 2022, you could do it. You could build Xavier Woods into the guy, the white hot underdog baby face that the fans demand end Roman Reigns world championship. Holy. Run. Come with me on this tale. Get yourself a bucket of Coronas because it's all about friendship and it's all about family. We start in the build up to hell in a cell and closing off this rather to few the new day are having with Seamus and his boys from the wax stuff. Ridge Holland, the man with the name of a Dutch crisp brand, and Butch, the love child of Scrappy Doo mm -hmm. and Where's Wally, or Waldo, for our American friends. After all of these shenanigans, the weekly blinders take to the ring to challenge the new day to a tag match at Hell in a Cell. That's not an I, I that, that's not my Irish accent. To a tag match at Hell in a Cell, all three members of the blinders versus all of New Day. Isn't that a little unfair, asks Riz to Seamus sarcastically. Not at all, says Seamus. There's three of us, three of them. Or at least there used to be. Now, we don't need to show the clip mm -hmm. of the belly to belly again, oh, yeah. but it has happened. I might as well mention it one more time just to add a bit of fire to the fact that this is the rivalry's end. New Day versus Seamus, Ridge and Butch. During the match, Ridge and Butch try to double team Xavier through the announce table, but he slips away. Kofi does his trust fall from the top of a ladder <laughs> onto the two. Kofi, Ridge, Butch all go through the announce table. Sheamus rolls Xavier into the ring, grabs him, screams into his face. I'm going to break your damn neck, fella! <laughs> Runs back, hits him with the bro kick, pins him. One, Xavier kicks out at one, screams. Sheamus goes wide-eyed. He runs back, he goes in for another bro kick. He walks into a super kick. Xavier hits his springboard elbow, wins the match mm. for the new day. Just a reminder, a little seed, that friends 
as Xavier Woods' superpower. The New Day <laughs> parlay the victory into becoming part of the very slow burn Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns feud. Seeing as WWE are dead set against running Drew versus Roman too early, plus holy sh those guys have worked out how to do the amazing PWG style six man tag match. At Money in the Bank, Drew mm -hmm. and the New Day, we're gonna go right ahead and call them the Drew Day. It's a Drew Day. Ayatas run them versus <laughs> the bloodline. The main event is going to be the Money in the Bank ladder match, won by Edge. Just by the way, he's going to mm. turn into a gothic briefcase, leather all warped. You know the Necronomicon Ex Mortis from Evil Dead? That, basically. To add a bit of spice to the match, it's an elimination tag. Kofi's mm. eliminated first after a double Uso splash. Then Drew McIntyre takes control of the match. He's cleaning house. He has Roman set up for the three. Two, one, Claymore, when an Uso pops onto the apron, Drew turns, knocks him off, turns into a spear. He is pinned and he is eliminated. It is all three members of the bloodline against mm. Xavier Woods. Commentary mentioned the fact that after Woods was crowned King of the Ring last year, he fought Roman on SmackDown he and did. won that match by DQ. WWE claim officially that the match was a no contest, but it's not yeah. Xavier won the match by DQ because mm. that's how DQs work. Look, either way, Roman didn't beat Xavier. Xavier hits a super kick on Jimmy Uso, rolls him up, eliminates him. Xavier fights back from underneath. He is battered, exhausted, the ultimate slapping underdog the match. Right New here. Day rocks, trying to whip the crowd up. Distraction. Roman hits a Superman punch, tags Jay, who hits the splash, but on impact, Woods pivots, turns Jay into a pinfall. One, two, three. It is down to Xavier mm. Woods versus Roman Reigns. But in true Kofi Kingston, at Survivor Series 2009 fashion, Roman immediately gets in the ring, runs for the spear. Xavier snatches him to a small package. One, two, three. Xavier Woods pins Roman Reigns. Oh! Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's exactly what I was saying. Holy shit, what? <laughs> Huge deal. And a super unlikely deal, I will completely grant you, but I definitely think it will play well. First of all, it's not non-title, so everyone chill the yeah. Second, Roman is fast approaching the point of over-dominance, even as a heel, so a shock f to you to him would be lovely. Third, who doesn't bloody love Xavier Woods? He exudes an easy charm, relentlessly positive vibes, and he's obsessed with Uno, which makes him just fine by me. <laughs> this next step in the Summer of Woods passes through SummerSlam. The match, Drew McIntyre versus... And I am liking this because... This is building a new star. Granted, Xavier Woods has been on the roster for quite some time, but he's never had that star, reach that star level yet. Big E has reached the top of the mountain. Kofi Kingston has reached the top of the mountain. He has not yet. And this would be something interesting to get him to that peak with the rest of the New Day. Xavier Woods. Now, both men have been denied the title shot at SummerSlam because Edge cashes in his Money in the Bank contract to secure the main event of SummerSlam, a huge payday, and the title shot for himself. However, Drew versus Xavier is the number one contenders match. Drew was screwed at Money in the Bank by, via distraction, I guess. And obviously, him versus Roman is a dollar-dollar match that management want, but they can't ignore the fact that at the pay-per-view, Xavier Woods pinned mm -hmm. Roman Reigns. Something that no one, not one person has been able to do, and I'm not making this up, mm -hmm. since December 15th, <laughs> 2019. The man who pinned him at TLC, Baron Corbin. It was the dog food feud. Yep. Smashing stuff. So at the biggest party of the summer, obvious favorite Drew McIntyre versus underdog from out of nowhere, Xavier Woods with a winner facing Roman at Clash in the Castle. Wonder who's gonna win that. But actually, I think that predictability can help in its favor. Drew will likely be over in the UK against mm -hmm. Roman no matter what. So lean into the fact that the fan support is getting behind Xavier and use all of this history to tell a story that's full of callbacks, neat little touches, like how Woods is the only member of New Day to not be world champion. Mm -hmm. Like how no one thought Big E or Kofi could be world champion either. How Roman hasn't been able to beat Xavier Woods, specifically the parallels between Woods' King of the Ring campaign with Kofi Mania, this underdog, almost fans, grassroots movement taking over the program, all building to something that seems unlikely 
are possible. And then let's crush those dreams a few times. Before SummerSlam, irate at being beaten and telling Woods that he's nothing, Roman reminds Xavier that he isn't a king anymore. Roman's the king mm -hmm. of his own family. Roman is the tribal chief, and he tells Xavier to kneel, kneel before your tribal chief. Woods repeatedly refuses, Roman knocks him down, heads under the ring, retrieves a hammer. If you won't use them to kneel, then you must not need them. And he cracks Xavier Woods in the knee with the hammer. At Damn. SummerSlam, the knee injury is the whole story. Woods keeps trying to gut through the pain and Drew doesn't want to take advantage. They've been through the Drew day together. Mm -hmm. Woods climbs to the top to hit his springboard elbow drop, but his knee buckles and he falls to the mat. He slowly raises to his feet and Drew runs in for a claymore, but he sees the pain that Woods is in. And he tries to help Woods to his feet, but Xavier pushes him off. He mm. won't be pitied. Just do it. Just do it, Drew. He slaps McIntyre in the face. Yep. Drew hits the claymore, One, pins two, Woods. One, two. I like this. The Drew versus Roman like Hugh properly like happens, this. heads to Clash of the Castle. On the undercard, New Day versus Usos. Always a fun match for the SmackDown tag titles or the unified tag title, I don't know. The New Day gut it out despite Xavier's injury and win the tag straps. Mm. But in the main event, Roman cheats to beat Drew. The SmackDown after Clash at the Castle, the Bloodline go into Dickhead Overdrive, which would be a good name for a pay-per-view. They <laughs> smash McIntyre through a glass window backstage before interrupting a New Day tag match. Roman, incensed at the disrespect the Bloodline has been shown, chokes Woods out with the guillotine. Kofi tries to run in to help, but Roman hits Kingston with a spear. He looks at both members of the New Day. Down, out, heads outside the ring, grabs a pair of handcuffs, Handcuffs oh. Xavier Woods to the turnbuckle, heads to ringside, grabs a steel chair, oh. wraps it around Kofi's. I love it when Roman goes rogue. Ah, oh, it's the best thing. Oh. Then he grabs another chair. Oh. The Usos run in. They went to war with the New Day. And even though they don't like Kofi or Xavier, they respect them. Asks Roman not to do it, but Roman mm. hits the chair, boom, with the other one, injuring Kofi's neck, putting him on the shelf alongside Big E. Oh. The next week, Xavier defends the SmackDown Tag Team Championships against the Usos by himself and stays in the match partially. I like what he's doing. He's making him the sole survivor of the New Day, the Iron Man. He's gonna fight no matter what the odds. People are gonna get People can get behind that. I like this. Because the Usos can't bring themselves to treat Xavier this way. Roman tells them to do it from ringside, but they just walk out of the ring and stand there, wait for the count out, forfeiting mm. the match. A callback to them forfeiting during the gauntlet before Kofi Mania, one of the best moments in SmackDown. I love that mm -hmm. moment. Owing to the fact that Kofi is still injured and will be for a while, and because he can't keep defending the titles this way, the SmackDown tag titles are held up as vacant, but Xavier shouldn't fret. He's informed that WWE will be running King of the Ring again this year in the build up to Crown Jewel, and Xavier receives automatic entry to try and retain his crown and this time there's an added incentive because king of the ring pretty much always works better when something yeah. is properly on the line not a burger king crown the <laughs> winner of the 2022 king of the ring wins the title shot at survivor series xavier is the story of the tournament his knee injury constantly aggravating him but he keeps winning through talent through guts through fan support the main event of crown jewel is drew versus roman the rematch, which Roman also wins. Mm -hmm. The King of the Ring final comes down to Xavier Woods versus Edge. Edge has been trying to use Judgment Day to recapture his former glories, Money in the Bank winner, and now after winning the tournament back in 2001, Edge will become King of the Ring one more time. The Judgment Day numbers game keeps Xavier at a disadvantage until Kofi's music hits, and he returns to fight them off, and Xavier grabs Edge in a roll-up to win King of the Ring mm. one more time and finally earn a World Heavyweight title shot at Survivor Series. Now, this is where we really ramp up the family drama within the bloodline yeah. and the discord that's starting to form there. After all, who better to remind the Usos of the awesome independent champions they used to be than the New Day, their best and fiercest rivals. Yep. Roman calls Jimmy and Jay weak, proclaims that Woods is a fake king. He is the king. Roman is the king of his own family, his own tribe really start to instill in the audience the importance of this title of leader of your family. He demands respect that the Usos kneel to him 
which they do. How fundamental it is, the Samoan extended family, and how Roman is the undisputed leader that demands and is deserving of the respect and cooperation of that extended family. Roman casts out Paul Heyman because he's not part of the Anawahi family. Mm. He's just never been part he's starting of the to go off the rails just interloper a little bit. trying to exploit the samoan people for his own gain roman's starting to lose it yep a little bit at survivor series the bloodline really starts to come apart the usos are hesitant to help roman cheat and roman becomes increasingly frustrated that for some reason one-on-one -on -one, he just can't seem to put Xavier Woods away. Jey Uso finally goes to interfere, goes for a super kick, but accidentally he hits Roman instead. Xavier tries for the win, but Roman kicks out. Reigns berates the Usos, slapping them, but they mm. stand there and they take it. The ref goes down and Jimmy Uso goes for a super kick, but Kofi pushes Xavier out of the way and he takes it instead. Despite that, despite that friendship, Xavier can't quite overcome Roman, who yeah. hits the spear and wins. See, on SmackDown, the Usos start to question whether or not Roman actually does have the true interests of the family at heart. Roman spears Jay in front of Jimmy, tells Jimmy to kneel. Jimmy doesn't, so Roman spears Jay again and one more time. After that, Jimmy kneels. Roman becomes fixated on making Woods kneel. But after all these weeks and months, Woods won't do it. Woods demands one last title shot against Roman at day one. Roman agrees, but only if Xavier agrees to a condition. Woods surrounds himself with his fairy tale life, the power of positivity, the friendship of the New Day. It's nothing. It means nothing. They're not your family. You don't have their blood. At the end of the day, it's all meaningless. And Xavier, Xavier Woods, he's, your, he's a ruler of nothing. At day one, Roman will put the title on the line against Xavier Woods, but if Woods loses, the New Day must permanently disband. Mm. Woods will be banished to Raw and he and Kofi will never share a brand mm. ever again. Woods refuses. He says, fine, I, I forfeit my title shot. But before he can leave the ring, Kofi accepts the challenge on Woods' behalf because the bloodlines are family held together with fear and obligation. But the New Day is a family that's held together with love. Maybe we'll work different days, Kofi says, but don't worry. We'll find the time. Go get him. Shortly before Christmas, like this. Xavier this is and Kofi nice. share one last moment in the ring as the New Day, telling the crowd, Christmas is the time for miracles, right? And that's when they bring out Big E. Now, mm. I've left Big E's involvement in this angle out for as long as humanly possible, just in case his recovery moves yeah. slowly, which it currently already has. Now, I have no idea if he'll ever wrestle again, but oh, he comes down to the ring that he's able to, to join his brothers. They reminisce. February 2019, Kofi Mania began. Day one. And so it all come to a premature end. At day one this year, the New Day could come to a premature end themselves. But Biggie mm -hmm. knows, he knows that Woods is stronger than that. Cast your mind back, Biggie tells the crowd. July 21st, 2014, Biggie and Kofi teamed and lost. Biggie and Kofi have been losing a long time. On July 21st, 2014, on Raw, Xavier Woods walked down to the ring in a dorky ass suit with dorky ass glasses and told us, This is our time. This is wow, our place. Nice and that's when the New Day was born, but not anymore, Woods. Kofi's been there. I've been there. Biggie says, This is your time. Oh, this day could, one, 2023. This would be cool. It's a new day. Yes, yes it, it is. is. Xavier Woods comes out with Kofi and Biggie at the pay per view, but sends them to the back. This is his time. Roman comes out with the Usos, and as he walks down the ramp, they stay at the top. He turns and orders them to follow him to ringside. They look pissed, but they obey. During the match, the ref goes down. Roman tells the Usos to get him the hammer, but they refuse to help Roman cheat. He berates them one more time before Jimmy and Jay turn and walk away up the ramp to the backstage. Roman grabs a mic and he shouts at the back. He's the head of this family. Him, him, you will acknowledge me. Pay me the respect I am due. And Jimmy, Jay, get your ass down here. If you're some Pop. The pop. I got goosebumps and this is not even real. <laughs> the pop alone. I don't need, I, no words. Well, the Rock walks out, walks straight down to the ring. Roman smiles, opens his arm for a hug. Rock smiles, hugs Roman. 
turns it into a rock bottom. bottom. Yeah. Boom. Walks away. Xavier climbs oh, to the top. Ha, 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 hits the springboard yeah. elbow drop. The ref wakes and groggily counts one. one. Two, two oh, that'd be cool. three. Holy Xavier shit. Woods pins Roman Reigns for the WWE Undisputed Championship as one family lies in pieces. The New Day on that day one cool. come down and tearfully embrace, just like they did at Mania 35, just like they did on Raw in September 2021. The final piece of the New Day World Title trilogy is complete. The Rock and Roman go yeah, on that, to WrestleMania 39 that would with be built, the leadership. Of that would be built just off this moment right there. The Anawahi family on the line, which probably means a lot more to Rock and Roman than the title, to be fair. Yeah. And then hopefully Xavier Woods goes on to have a better title run than either Big E or, if we're honest, Kofi. Yeah, I hope and so that too. is how I would book Xavier Woods beating Roman Reigns. Do you disagree? Do you think it's mad? Let me know in the comments. What else would you like me to book? If you would like to hear more about my New Day booking, then why don't you check out the... Ah oh, man. I enjoyed that. That was fun. That was great. I was not expecting him to say Kofi King, uh, Xavier Woods. But if they booked it like that, it actually could work. You're building a new star in Kofi. I'm not Kofi. Uh, you're building a new star in Xavier Woods. I, I I think that could work. Of course, everybody else in the maybe pile, I could see them working as well. But that would be unexpected, and it would be it would be pretty cool. It would legitimate. It would make the New Day stable one of the greatest stables because all three members have won a championship. All three of them. It'll, it'll put them in that tier of great stables that wasn't supposed to be as over, but ended up all winning the WWE Championship at some point. I think that would be cool. I think that would just be nice. And I think Xavier deserves that rub, man. And it's it's it works because Xavier keeps losing. He keeps getting close. He's almost there to win it. But he never quite wins it. He only starts to win it when the dissension between the bloodline starts to happen and then he finally overcomes the big bag the the ultimate heel the final boss so i enjoyed this this is fun i enjoyed this a lot man comment down below let me know were you guys okay with the booking of this were you guys okay with how he booked this or how would you book it differently let me know down below but i appreciate all love and support road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking to me see y'all next one peace